Welcome to a video, it's a follow-up video to a uh, range test I did on a PMR446 walkie-talkies just under a, a year ago now. <clears throat> but that one was done in the northwest of England, uh, 10 kilometres between the Wirral, Wirral Peninsula and North Wales. Well today I'm in the southwest of England, sort of, and we're going to do a range test that's 27 kilometres, maybe a bit optimistic, from uh, Selsey Common. Selsley? Selsley. Yeah. Selsley. <laughs> Selsley Common, which is has a, an altitude and elevation of about 200 meters, right over the Severn Estuary to Tidenham Chase, which oddly has pretty much exactly the same elevation. Uh, there's nothing in between. The reason we've chosen those two locations is, well, one, convenience, and two, it's really because there is nothing but water in between, so we don't have to sort of go across a city. The signal doesn't have to go across a city where it could potentially pick up another person using that channel, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, it's likely to be a sort of clearer run, nice line of sight between the two locations. We'll have to see how we do. Here we are, at the top, or the highest point, I think, of uh, the common. <clears throat> uh, the location I'm going to is actually over this way. So, 27 kilometers that way. And it's part of the Forest of Dean. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got to go round, as usual. I've got to go round and over the Seven Bridge to get there, but that's okay. It's not too far, 35 miles to get round, 27 kilometers over. Right, so I'm up here at uh, Tidenham Chase and Steve is 27 kilometers that way waiting to see whether or not he can pick me up. I've got my uh, different variety of uh, radios here to test. I mean, realistically, if one of them works, they're probably all going to work, aren't they? Because there's not much difference between them. They're all half a watt and they've all got the same sort of limitations around antenna and things. But we're just chucking a signal right across the Severn Estuary and seeing or not how well Steve can pick it up. So let's give it a go, first of all, with the XT420, which is this one from Motorola. We'll give, the, give that one a try first. Okay, testing the uh, 27 kilometer range check on the XT420. This is a noisy road. Can you hear me? Yes, that's perfectly on cue there. Um, wow, well, you just thought. <laughs> the, the, the weird thing is that this is like, I think is a better signal, or it sounds like a cleaner signal than when we did the 10 kilometer test. Yeah, it'd be interesting to review that, but this is, uh, yeah, it's crystal clear. I don't know what it came out on the, uh, on the film, but yeah, absolutely crystal clear. Yeah, it, perfect for me. Not a single bit of noise, not a single, single problem at all. In the, uh, in the audio. Uh, so let's switch radios. Let's go to the digital PMR, so the XT660D, and let's give that a go. So let's power up the 660D. This camera is heavy. Channel 32. Okay, testing on channel 32 on the X660D. It's not, it doesn't sound as good, does it? But it's, um, but it's still pretty decent. I'm just going to put the camera down on top of my car. But it still sounds... Uh, it, it's completely clean. I mean, there isn't a single bit of hiccuping in this at all. Hiccuping, is that a technical term? What, hiccuping? It's just crystal clear, yeah. just the yeah, light is distorted, but, but that's the transmission made perfect. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Let's try the trusty T80 and let's see how the T80 does. Just uh, I'll just switch over to that now and turn that on. Okay. 
Okay, so this radio is the one that I've tested numerous times. This is the one we tried last year uh, when we did the 10 kilometer test across from the Wirral Peninsula to North Wales. So let's give this a go. Okay, I've no reason to think that this wouldn't work. So uh, Steve, can you hear me okay on this? Yeah, again, perfect. A little bit of hitting on this one, but um, otherwise, no. Fantastic transmission for the range. Interesting. That's worse. That's definitely weaker than the other two. It's got noticeable noise in the background, noticeable sort of static in the background, whereas the uh, the 420 had nothing. It's completely clear signal. That's um, yeah. So definitely a difference there. Yeah, on your last transmission, there, there's some distortion as well. But yeah, you're, you're right. There's some, definitely some static uh, background static noise. Okay, and finally, let's try the uh, budget Retivis RT24 and see how that does. I will switch to that now. Right, so this is the Retivis RT24. These are, you can pick these up for £20 a pair. These are a tenner each, these radios. The Motorola there, the XT420, more in the region of £100 per radio. So let's give that a try. Steve, how are you receiving me? Well, massive amount of distortion then, but the end of the transmission was, uh, was good. So again, I've got similar sort of static on this. I'm wondering whether, is it because I've moved location? Just let me pick up my camera and, mo and move back to where I was a moment ago. Hang on. Okay. Let me just try from here, because this is where I was originally when we tested it. Is that any cleaner? Yeah, that's much better, yeah. A little bit of background noise, not as much as the TAT, but um, yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's basically me being a little bit lazy and resting the camera on the car for a second, uh, just drop the signal down. So really, it's kind of fringe signal. The only reason you're getting it is because it is... It's completely clean line of sight. I can imagine that you put, like, a single wall or trees or anything in the way and it would just drop off to nothing in no time. But... Um, <laughs> amazing, amazing test. 27 kilometres across the River Severn and uh, no problem at all. Time to uh, push the range further. I know. Well, <laughs> it makes you think, doesn't it? It makes you think, well, if you can do 27k, you can do, probably do 50k. Say again, there's some, uh, someone else talking on the same channel there, I think. Tuned for the next uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Uh, right, well, there we go. We tested all, all four radios and they all form, perform pretty much the same. Digital, fine, no problem. 27 kilometres. Thank you, Steve, for doing this. Thank you for helping me with this. No, no, it's not at all. I will uh, take a drive back now. I might have a fiddle around in the car and see what else I can pick up on uh, at this location. But um, I'll see you in about half an hour. Watch that. Out. Out.